<sighs> Hello. White balance card. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. You can tell because I got my, my pissed glasses on. I never wear these things. These are my pissed glasses. Kind of like this snake right here. I'm going to try and remain calm, even though I might be slightly perturbed. And it's not a clickbait video. I, I am legitimately pissed. I'm going to break my own rule that I usually have it, that I've adhered to this channel for years, which is not calling anybody out. I'm breaking that rule today. For those of you whose first time it is to the channel, put out three videos a week. Two of them are beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. One of them is uncut. Now, before I get into this, I, I don't have any notes written down or anything like that. So if I miss something, if I, if I mess something up, A, please forgive me. B, go down in the comments, let us know. There, I'm going to be a wealth of information down in the comments, I'm just willing to bet. Uh, uh, let's just go. H, H sus, H-S-U-S, Humane Society of the United States. Have you heard of them? Maybe. They've got a plethora of... Ch Commercials out there, you've probably seen them. Sarah McLaughlin's sad dog baby action. These guys, these guys bring in, these guys have an annual budget of over a hundred million dollars. Somewhere around the 130 mark, some, something like that. Uh, maybe more these days, maybe less. It's, it, it's over a hundred million. That's, let's just say that. At least 50 million or so of that that money goes into advertising, fundraising, making commercials with sad puppies. That's where that money goes. Other of the money goes into paying officers, who knows what else. Less than 1% of that money, of that 100 million plus, actually goes to actually helping animals. Your local Humane Society, nothing to do with Humane Society of the United States. Nothing to do with it. Less than 1% of their annual spending goes into actually helping something like a Humane Society that actually helps animals. They're, they're, they don't, they're not involved with vets. They're, there's, it's literally just a money-making, lobbying organization. In fact, it was up until 06 that... HSUS was registered with the government as a lobbying organization. Not a, not a charity. Charitywatch.com, Charity Watch, there's a group called Charity Watch that is known for being fairly, fairly calm and uh, fairly down the road, down, down the middle, like not, you know, not really biased at all in any sort of way, just looks out for what the basis of a good charity is. Charity Watch gives Humane Society of the United States a D rating. A D. That's one step away from failing. Why am I going off about Humane Society of the United States right now? They're a lobbying group. They lobby and try to get laws passed to keep us from keeping animals. The former CEO, Wayne Passell, has been on record saying he basically wanted to end all human-animal interaction. No more dogs, no more cats. So if you're not a reptile keeper and you're a dog keeper, this, this could concern you too, because this is where this group is going. Now, it's my understanding that he resigned as CEO back in 2018 because of some kind of uh, sexual assault allegations, something along those lines. It, Humane Society of the United States is one step away from being a criminal organization. They settled on a RICO case as being a criminal, as being a criminal organization. They, they settled for like 15 million so they didn't have to take it to trial. One step away, one step away from that. U.S. ARC, U.S. ARC, United States Association of Reptile Keepers, is a small entity compared to the Humane Society of the United States, but it's basically the only group that we have that is between us losing our ability to interact, keep, educate, share, breed, do all the wonderful things we love to do with these animals and laws that would take it all away. USARC is, is virtually it. They're it. It blows my mind 
it blew my mind to know that there are people in the reptile breeding industry that make millions and millions of dollars and don't give a dollar to U.S. Ark. You are failing. You are failing. They, they're, that could all go away. L legislation, legislation could be passed. Luckily, right now, we're, we're doing pretty good. And thank you to U.S. Ark. Th they've beaten back some of the legislation in recent years. Some of you may remember some of the stuff with the big snakes and the Lacey Act and, and the big success U U.S. Ark had there. If you're a reptile keeper and you're not supporting U.S. Ark, you're not doing it right. You're just, you're not. You're failing. If you ship reptiles across the country, if you ship reptiles anywhere, and you're not checking that box to donate one dollar, when you do that to U.S. Ark, you are failing. Failing as a reptile keeper. All right. I said I was going to try and, and remain calm. Yeah, I'm going to stay calm. As much as possible. I just... I would just love to see more support for this group that's, that's doing everything in their power to make it possible for us to do what we do. Which is spend time with these animals. Which is... Bring these animals to educational shows. There's constantly legislation that's being waged against doing simple things like that. Right now in New York, they're wait, um, trying to ban all shipments of, of reptiles, amphibians, all, all kinds of animals. It may be all animals. You can fact check me on that. Um, you have until Thursday, this week, tomorrow, to reach out and send an email for legislation that's trying to be passed in South Carolina right now to ban tegus. There's something coming up in Florida. Oregon is working to prevent all animal transport, including two educational shows. I know of these things because of U.S. Arc. If you don't have any money at all, if you're just not able to, you can at least be informed by being part of the U.S. Arc letter, the, 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 uh, the newsletter. USARC.org. Go there. Buy a t-shirt. You know how many people have been duped out of their money by the Humane Society of the United States thinking that they're supporting a group that actually wants to help animals and take care of animals? It sickens me. It, it <sighs> Just support U.S. art. If you, if you care about laws being passed for good reasons, even if you don't even keep animals, Don't support Humane Society of the United States. If you want a longer, more detailed video on what's currently going on, just the other day on Reptile Talk, I'll put the link in the description, Phil Goss, President of U.S. ARC, was on with those guys, kind of going over some of the information. You can get it straight from Phil. He's much more well informed about this stuff than I am. I'm just, I'm just going off a little bit because uh, I, it just, it just, I don't like, I don't like the fact that we have to constantly fight, but, but it, that's what has to happen. And I, I just don't like the fact that there are people that, that keep reptiles that don't support U.S. Ark. I don't like that. Every one of you that's not supporting U.S. Ark that keeps reptiles is failing. That's my call out. Humane Society, United States, sham. One step away from criminal organization, just stealing money, posing with sad cats and dogs that they don't actually take care of. And people who are benefiting from keeping reptiles, not supporting the one organization that is allowing us to do so and not allowing laws to come in and keep us from doing so. So all the links are in the description. U.S. Arc makes it very, very easy to reach out to these senators, to reach out to these people in the government. Be respectful to the folks in office, please. Most of them are just ignorant and they're just having this stuff fed to them by the lobbyists and just are uneducated about what's going on. They're just there to do their job, which is pass laws to make money for the government and make the government be something that we think we need, which I agree. We do need them for some things. Some things I'm like, okay, we don't need you for that. That's a whole different video. Just support U.S. Arc. 
click the links down below, get more information, leave a comment down below if I missed something, if I got something wrong. I'm gonna make the most pissed face I can possibly think of for this thumbnail. Hopefully there's some, I'm sure there's something good in there. All right. Sorry it wasn't the feel-good video of the year, but you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, support U.S. ARC. Aloha. Aloha.